the harvest is white. You see there the places we have been, but there's a lot of places we haven't been as well. And so we believe we need more people, more to be trained in creation science. Um, and we've been doing that with intensive training weeks. Uh, and we're, we're giving people those, those uh, skills, equipping them with skills to be able to make a difference. Um, and we're starting DCTI and, and more to come as well. Um, the idea to get people out there spreading the message. Here's Scott in Spanish. That opens a whole new world of possibility uh, in Central South America. And that multiplication is exciting. This is really uh, one of the new programs we have that we want to uh, start in August that we're planning on starting in a unique one-year program for about 20 to 30 students um, to equip them, to give them a foundation in creation science in the, and under, truly believe in the Bible and understanding God's Word. This is our vision for the future, starting next August uh, as we've planned it. And why DCTI? And actually you can look and you can even read this on page two of these. Um, but here it, sa it says right there, imagine your agony if your child comes home from school and says, I don't believe in God anymore. And I think, I, I'm, I think that's a huge challenge in our culture today. A huge, I think this is a, something that's happening all over our country, all over our world is students coming and saying, I don't believe in God anymore. Why not, you might ask? Because evolution is a fact. That is the reality, and that is why uh, we want to train young people, especially young and old alike, though, really, to go and to make an impact uh, on the next generation, on our culture, because evolution is devastating the faith of our youth, as I mentioned before. The number one reason people don't respond to the gospel so with this training institute, we're going to teach these students, equip them with worldviews and apologetics, with creation sciences, um, just tremendous learning there, biblical history and studies, history like archaeology and ancient man to really understand the Bible and the biblical history there as well, to engage them in team building exercises and to become better leaders and to um, be able to speak better and to learn and practice more uh, evangelism, um, to experience these practical year-long ministry experiences and to reach out to the university. Even uh, There's a, a university right in our uh, town where we're starting and, and the students will get tremendous experience speaking, interacting with students at the university and in discussion forums with them as well. Um, and to give the students practical experience uh, at a summer practicum, whether that's at a summer camp or doing VBSs during the summer, to give them experience teaching creation uh, that they can take it with them uh, after they leave the training institute. Um, so that students are not just, you know, not just writing a two-page paper because they're supposed to write a two-page paper but to say, hey, let's write a book together. Let's do a blog that's reaching out, that's connecting, that's impacting our world, uh, sharing the creation message, sharing the gospel, ultimately. And uh, just like I did at, at my Bible college, to make connections for future ministry opportunities, not just to say, uh, you know, you did a great job here, thanks for coming to the training institute this year, but to give them a connection, you know, how can we help you for the future? How can we connect you uh, where you're going next, whether that's at a university or, or other places? Um, and to mentor and disciple students, to encourage them in their faith. As I feel like I was never properly mentored or discipled as I was growing up in school. And so, and I think that's, a, I think that's a, a huge thing that's lacking in our culture is, is the lack of mentoring and discipleship that we see all over, and unfortunately in our churches as well. So um, we want to do that for students, to help them grow in the Lord, to help them gain a solid foundation for life. Um, we'll be reading the Bible together with them uh, to give them a good basis of the Bible, the, the whole Bible in one year, and to build community with these students, because these students, unfortunately, 
people today in general, we're getting so caught up in the internet and in social media and, and um, unfortunately in our churches, the fellowship isn't happening as, as much and, and uh, people aren't as, as engaged together um, building that body of Christ that we really need to be as, as a community of believers. Um, and to take students on these exciting field trips, the Grand Canyon, Mount St. Helens, Yellowstone, Arches, Colorado National Monument, and many other canyons all along the way and, and more. Um, it's one thing to sit in a classroom and learn about these things, but it's a whole other thing to go and touch the fossils, touch the dinosaur bones and the rock, and see the geology of those places, to stand on the edge of a canyon and try to understand from a creation perspective how did these canyons behind us form, to see these petroglyphs and try to understand, okay, what, what is significant, significant about these and, and does it really uh, matter? Uh, they were there, this guy was there. It's different to be there in person and to be on the uh, edge of the Grand Canyon and, you know, it's one thing to learn about it in school, but you don't know even how big it is until you stand there and see it. But then you don't even know how big it is until you even hike down in it, then you really start knowing, understanding how big it truly is. Um, so that's tremendous experience there. And then a Costa Rica adventure outreach, uh, a three-week field study and mission trip outreach, uh, where they'll be studying about the ecosystems, the ecologies, the geologies of Costa Rica, very um, uh, abundant areas there. And, uh, and to be able to reach out to a university there in Costa Rica and, and to others as well. Uh, tremendous opportunity. So this could be a unique opportunity for as a transition or as a gap year for students, uh, whether between high school and college or, or something else, a breath of fresh air in their current college or, or uh, workplace experience, uh, and for them to receive specialized training in creation science. Um, this is a unique opportunity to positively impact future generations. Uh, and so what does it take to make DCTI a reality? We need students, so that's something you can be praying for uh, or even encouraging students with this. Take an extra uh, packet or booklet um, if you'd like afterwards, if you can think of somebody. Even help a student financially to be able to do something like this. Uh, we do need funds for this program, uh, 600000 to start our program and to really get it going for many years to come and, and really to, to sustain itself in, uh, eventually and funds for a permanent location where we can even do our summer camps or our, our boot camps and, and those things. To, um, and, and we need ongoing supporters, specifically prayer warriors. Because if people aren't praying, if, if God uh, and, and his people aren't behind this effort, you know, it won't happen. But I believe God is, is calling us to this. And, and so we need, uh, as well as that, we need... Uh, financial supporters, people that can give large sums like 25000 10000 5000 or even $1,000. Um, but even people that could maybe even give 100000 or a million um, to, the, to this effort um, for property or, or whatnot. But I think really ultimately I, I want to see out of this road trip that we're doing, over, by the end of the year I want to see 200 people giving $25 a month ongoing um, to, to really get people from the ground level supporting our vision, our ministry here. And, and so why DCTI? Again, why DCTI? We are called to go and make disciples, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded, that Jesus has commanded, all including Genesis. And, uh, and again, First Peter, always be prepared to give an answer for the faith to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. Um, so we want to help these students. We're called, God has called us to this, but we want to, secondly, these students, staring you right in the face, we want to give them the, and equip them with 
the ability to adequately, accurately share and defend their faith, as I never felt like I was trained and equipped to, and maybe some of you even feel that way, but to give students a solid foundation uh, for their life and uh, tr tremendous training in creation science, that hopefully these students might be able to go out into their communities. He might go to California and take this message back home to California and teach others about creation and about the gospel, ultimately. Uh, she might go to Greenville, South Carolina with this message and be able to be influential uh, at this group or um, creating other groups uh, in this area as well. She might take this message to England. She might take this message to some place we've never spoken creation to in China or something. So this... That is the goal, is to get local, everyday people trained and equipped to teach and to share creation and to share the gospel uh, adequately. And, um, and we know that if, you know, with God, all things are possible, and he will help us through those things. So what can you do about spreading creation? First off, we can pray. That's, we, we do need the prayer for, for our program for... Uh, for us as we travel, as we plan this, this training institute. To, for yourself, learn it, but to learn it to teach it. Teach others about it, whether that's friends or family about creation or, or people in your Sunday school or, or um, Bible study group. Uh, to start achieving what God has placed on your heart, whatever that is. Um, that's something you can be doing um, for God to support your local ministries like this group here. Um, I think it's a tremendous opportunity there. And to also support AOI and our ministry, this new training institute. Um, and to encourage and support students in that. So those are some things you can be praying about doing. Um, and we see in 2 Timothy here, I love 2 Timothy. It's one of my favorite books of the Bible. And, and it's one where Paul is encouraging a younger man Timothy, his son in the faith, um, and uh, tremendous encouragement here where um, he says, but evil men and imposters will proceed from bad to worse, deceiving and being deceived. Well, we see that in our culture today, don't we? You, however, continue in the things you have learned and become convinced of. And then it continues a verse later, verse and a half later. All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. And that's what we're about, is to help people be adequate or complete or perfect, equipped for every good work, being able to be trained, be, have that foundation in the Bible, in God's word, um, to, to be able to make a difference. So... Uh, Please consider joining us in this endeavor and, and uh, um, be praying for us in this.